I think she's doing great. Don't you think she's doing great? Were you not in the car? <laughs> you know, I, I thought it was going to be sad coming back into this house, but uh, it's okay. I'm good. <laughs> Uh, Mom, do you, uh, do you want one of your pills? You know, it's been two hours. Would you stop with the pills? She's doing great. That's because I'm on pills. <laughs> so did your father come and pick up the rest of his stuff? Hey, hey, you, you know, don't, don't talk about him. Okay, he left you and he walked out on the restaurant. He doesn't exist. Oh, no, 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 Jody, he's still your father. Although nowadays a Petri dish can be a father. <laughs> But of course, a Petri dish doesn't help him leave you after 30 years of marriage for some poor restaurant reviewer, but perhaps a half a blue pill would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, doesn't even need water. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the rest of the bags. So how are the two of you getting along? You know Jody, Mom, nothing changes. Oh, honey, you know how hard it is for him? Mom, he's the one that pushed me away just because I moved to L.A. It was his choice to stay here and work at the restaurant. I can't fix our relationship. Let it go. I have. Are you really as cold as you sound? Me? He didn't even go see the movie, Mom. He has time to try out for five reality shows, but he can't see my movie? <laughs> then maybe you have to reach out to him. He's, he's all you have, Mitch. He's your family. One day, when I die... Oh, don't do this. Why not? Because we're not Jewish. <laughs> okay, that's it. Well, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and freshen up. I'm so glad you both are here. We're still family. Maybe later I'll make us a chicken. <laughs> are you up to it? Yeah, it might be fun. I haven't been allowed around knives for a while. She's still in love with him. Oh, no, no, she's great. You know, and she has her new little friend at the hospital. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Look, I gotta get back to the restaurant and set up. Hey, Jody, wait. Look, I I've been thinking, as long as I'm home, why don't I help out at the restaurant? You know, pick up a little slack since Dad... And... Ah, no thanks. I know why you're here. You just came home to see if you could get more material from us for your next movie. <laughs> but the joke's on you, pal, because I don't intend to do or say anything interesting. She was coming home today. You wait till now to get the rest of your stuff out of the house? This hasn't been easy on me either, son. I wasn't looking to fall in love with Shelly. It was just harmless flirting. I was trying to get us a good review for the restaurant. So you slept with her. I never wanted to hurt your mother. It's just that we, I don't know. Maybe our marriage was like Kokomo. Kokomo? Yeah, the song Kokomo. You know, you're driving along, comes on the radio, and you go, nice. Then you start singing along with it. And suddenly you realize, this is a really bad song. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Shelly got it for me. What about your vows? Till death do us part. Those vows were written when people only live to be 35. Anyone can do that. <laughs> Listen, Mitch, I love your mother, and I know that one day we're going to be friends. Dad, you're stupid another one. This is not about stupid. This is about a connection. Shelly reads books I never heard of. She travels. She makes me try things I never tried before. Your old man is studying to be a past life massage therapist. <laughs> a past life... You don't like people in this life. <laughs> I want you and Mom to go see someone. You say you still love her. At least see if there's anything worth saving. 
I can't. Why not? Shelly's pregnant. What? Okay, maybe it was a teeny bit about Stubbenhaus.